other groups of young women, when they see a good thing, they latch on to that. They're not going based upon, oh, the dick is so incredible and he's just so fine and sexy and he's so tall and I like his shoes and I like his swag, but he's broke. He doesn't have anything going for himself. He's dumb as fuck. He doesn't know how to lead. He doesn't know how to do shit. He ain't about nothing. They, they go based upon, oh, he's actively displaying the fact that he's motivated, he's focused on something, he has a direction that he's going down, and it's, again, going to be a productive lane to go down. He's um, somebody that is self-disciplined, motivated. Let me latch on to him because I already know in a few years, he's going to be set. He's going to be straight. No, he's not the tallest. Well, who gives a fuck? The money going to get tall though. No, he's not the finest, but hey, who gives a fuck? We're going to live a fine ass life. No, he doesn't have the most swaggalicious swag, but hey. He's a gentleman he, and he respects me. He loves me. He treats me nice. I think this is a great bet. Let me go ahead and build with him. No, he's not at the final destination. No, he's not the complete package yet, but he's going to get there, especially with the amount of effort and energy and uh, focus and direction that he has. He's going to get there. He's going, absolutely, no question about it. No doubt in my mind. They latch on to those guys early and they establish that connection and that foundation with them early. That's even what I did. I met my husband when I was 21. That's young as fuck. But guess what I paid attention to? I paid attention to his character, his mindset, his moves. I didn't say, oh, but he's not taller than me. I didn't say, oh, but, you know, I don't like his skin complexion. Yeah, I know y'all just be on some bogus shit. Oh, but I don't like his attire. He doesn't drive this type of car, so no, no. I said, this man right here, he going to be good. This is what I need. I latched on with that and I built with that. I built and added on to what was already in the process of being built. Are you following me? I didn't say, oh, well, eh, let me just get with him because I want him to be something and I hope he becomes something one day. No, I'm, I went off of what he was actively doing, not a potential, what he was actively doing. I saw what type of man he was, even at 21. So I could only imagine what he would be at 30. And boy, was I right. We don't do that. Other groups of women do, though. They do the same shit that I did. Thank you, Raynard, for your cash out. They latch on early when they see this man is a man. This man about something. Fuck looks, fuck height, fuck a car, fuck a attire. What is he about? All that other shit is just extra. What is he about? That's what other women do. That's even what I did. And boy, was I right. We don't do that. We say it's struggle love when you promote building with a productive man. How fucked up is that? How stupid is that? This is why you would even see these women that may be um, white or Asian or 
whatever. Dealing with well-to-do black men is, for the mere fact alone, a lot of y'all don't take into consideration that those women were with those men from the jump. You know, those women were with that with, with that man building with him. She didn't just hop on when, you know, he was already made. No, she was in there. She was in the gym shooting with him. Okay. She was passing the balls at best. Okay. She was mopping up sweat. She was in that gym. She was doing something. She was assisting in some way, shape, or form. And then when he made it to that NBA, because she already knew he was going to do that based upon his work ethic, his mindset, what he was doing, actively, not a potential that she hoped that he would bring forth. And so now she's able to receive the fruits of that man's labor because she was in the gym. Are you following me? We don't want to go in the gym in any way, shape, or form. We don't want to go to the gym to, work, to, to, first of all, work the fuck out. And we definitely don't want to get in the gym with a man shooting with him, trying to help him build up his skills some more or whatever. I'm motivating, be a cheerleader at best, bitch. We ain't trying to even do that. But Becky is. Braziliana is. Ming Lee is. The other women of color that may reflect and look like you outside of the country, they are. We don't. We say he has to be already made. Other women don't do that. And I get it, sis. You don't want to take that chance or that gamble because it's like, damn, I've been there and I've done that before. I, I, I tried that with um, who I see, and it's no shade. I tried that with Craig, but Craig wasn't about shit. He didn't show and prove to you a damn thing by way of his, of his actions, by way of his mentality. He didn't show you shit, but that dick. That's all. Oh, and guess what, girl? But he was so cute, and I liked his shoes. And he drove a nice little car, whatever, even though it was rented. But I liked his swag. So y'all trying to build off of swag and not actions. So you feel like, oh, I'll never, I'll never build with a man because... You know, I, I tried that with Craig and Craig wasn't shit. And then when I left Craig or he cheated on me or he left me, I tried that with um uh, Rick and Rick wasn't shit and he did the same damn thing to me. And yeah, I was out there shooting in the gym with him, but bitch, you had to pull him out the bed in order to even go to the damn gym. He wasn't self-disciplined or self-motivated enough as a man to go to the gym on his damn own. You try to make that man go to the gym. You try to make that male be a man. That's where you fucked up. So don't try to use those same type of tactics on a real quality productive man. And that's what we do so many times. So many times. Right? Let me see who I see. Um, When it came to... Uh, who I see? When it came to Dwayne... Dwayne already had the mindset. He already had the motivation. He already had the vision. He already had the work ethic. He already had the self-discipline. He was already doing what he had to do. But she didn't want to take a chance and build with him and add on to what he was already actively building, being productive and building because of uh, who I used early, because of Rick. Right. And it was like, sis, you cannot compare Rick to Dwayne. Rick wants shit anyway. You weren't supposed to be building and supporting him anyway. But Dwayne, you could have absolutely added on with him. But we get it mixed up like that every time. So, so much so to the point where we feel like, oh, building with any man is, is bad and it's not. Building with a man is perfectly okay and fine. Other women do it all the time. Building a man, building a male, trying to make him be a man, that's fucked up. That's struggle love. 
Are y'all following me? How about this? Put an eight in the chat if you get what I'm saying. Thank you, Eugene. Last night, security boss said that most women look for security and stability. A man who is constantly on his purpose can offer security and stability. That man may not be making six figures. He may not. But that doesn't mean that he won't. We don't even want to wait around to see if he ever does. We don't even want to support a man and assist him to the point to where he does make or achieve certain goals. Like, oh, no, you ain't there, so I don't want you. And it could have been the best man for you. 